2K Sports as we get set to bring you all the action. And so off the tip, it's Tampa. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. A high-flying pair of Levine and Wiggins at the two and the three. Downs is out there with Paul Milson, and it's Cole in at the one. Listen, they rely heavily on his offense. He rarely lets them down. Count that one. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Here's Troutman, grilled from 11 feet out. The Prophets got five points so far. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Yeah, and that's exactly why he needs to become the primary focus for that defense right away. Try to cool him off before. Oh. No, he did not. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation out point, maybe even a question mark. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. As it goes out of bounds, Timberwolves retain possession. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. He has five. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David. Oh! oh how about that? Oh, 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 oh. Hit that shot. How in the world? You just never know what's gonna happen. This dude is unreal. Now here's Levine. Defense is right there. Misses in close. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Troutman, and again Tampa with a triple. Already seizing control of this game. Two teams in very different modes right now. One playing with energy and passion at both ends, and the other wishing for a reset button on this game. I'm deep. Look at that shot. Good at the last game for Tampa, it was a win against Charlotte. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Poke loose. Wiggins. On deep. And again, Tampa with a triple. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell -shot. Here's Cole. He's got five. And now Tampa on the break. Pull up jumper. And Tampa getting another bucket right there. And when you got someone putting on a show like this, I mean, in the first quarter, you have got to be kidding. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. The Prophet really making a difference here. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. Tampa on D. Levine kicks to Towns. on the break. Here's Troutman, and again Tampa with a triple. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Timberwolves trail by 21. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. 
from deep three-point range. And again, Tampa with a triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. 17-foot shot on the way. Connects the jumper drops. The Prophets get 31. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Now here's Heald. He's covered closely, and so they foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Simmons. Pass to Wise. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. There's the dish to heal. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. 34 points for the Prophets. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're time completely out, in disarray. Minnesota calls timeout. And look, rightfully disappointed with how they played here over the course of this run. You know, the momentum has shifted away from them. And now they need a strategy to recapture it. And the drought and that one is stuffed right through it, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass and good got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim the prophets got 36 i am simply blown away by his accuracy he has made every shot and what's most important his team is winning yeah another nice bucket down low They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. 
And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. This high-powered offense has been on display. They're having their way at that end of the court. And Simmons kicks to Towns. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. He may be in his formative years, but Carl Anthony Towns looking like a vet shot maker. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Boy, very difficult to defend when he gets into this kind of rhythm, which has been all quarter long. Tampa shooting their first foul shot of the night. Shooting one. 130 left here in the first quarter. Towns the screen. Heel dishes to Towns. Simmons passes to Heel. Knocks it loose. Out of bounds. Tampa takes possession. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. From deep. Shot. How in the world? You just never know what's going to happen. This dude is unreal. Knocked away. Shoots. The rebound by Tampa. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. No, and it looked like he got a bit ahead of himself and just couldn't pull back. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first. Troutman. And again, Tampa with a triple. Their third three-pointer in a row. Look at Minnesota. They took the win in their last game against Los Angeles. You know, they played well enough to win. But to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Well, it's no doubt. It's so much easier to run your offense if the defense is not trying to take away any of your options. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Wise. Towns, the pass to Hunt. In the corner, Simmons with it. Here's Towns. Off target on the 15-footer. Very dangerous to lead a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. We're at the end of the first quarter. What a blowout already in this one. Tampa out in front. Just Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this second quarter. And guys, uh, your take so far in Tampa? It's just been a long-range battle for them and, and one that they're winning right now. Their biggest advantage could be their fearlessness. Maybe a bad shot once in a while, but these guys have range and they know it. the last game for Tampa it was a win against the Hornets in Charlotte and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter to play and so in the game for the Timberwolves they've got Andrew Wiggins Garrett Temple is out there with Norris Cole then there's Towns and it's Wise in at the four-man position got a piece of it the Prophet passes to Stone oh up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. In just about every phase, they have dominated. Lockdown defense, explosive offense. This has been special. Jumps up. The fast break ends at the rim with a jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. And now Tampa up. Oh! Well, there's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. And it doesn't matter how difficult the shot. The ball is finding the bottom of the net. Baddest one. Oh, oh look out, and then you throw up stuff like that. Wow. You go, oh, my. I 
doesn't even go in. He pulls a Houdini. Oh my goodness. This guy's impossible. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now, and it's Cole missing. Really tough for this group right now, trying anything to stop the run. Well, that's the danger. Very hard to get the momentum back once it's shifted. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Shot to stop the run. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. Well, no threes for him in the second after drilling one in the first. Here's Pettis one. And again, Tampa with a triple. And now they're turning this game into a, a drag race, sprinting out for easy fast break basket. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, but <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. And guys, give them credit. I mean, they've taken advantage of the turnovers in the open floor. Out to the right wing. From deep three-point range, and again, Tampa with a triple. You'd have to say this is his quarter. He has destroyed every tactic the defense has thrown at him. Dishes it to Towns. There's the pick. Towns the screen. The Prophet passes to Stone. Finishes the break with a slam. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. Yeah, flawless fast break. Didn't slow down until the ball hit the bottom of the bucket. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. It's deflected. Here's Mattis one. He's got 18. And again, Tampa with a triple. Well, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. <laughs> the Prophet passes to Stone. Three-pointer. And again, Tampa with a triple. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Here's Pettis one. Oh! <laughs> and he jams it with authority. And that's rocking the rim. Give him the two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. From deep. From beyond the arc, and then some. Pattis one's got 29 in the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. From outside the arc, hands it from downtown. Pattis one's got 32 points. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. They push it up for on three. For three, it's the three-point bomb. And that's now six points for lights out. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. There's the pick to the inside. Leaps for it. They need this one. It's deflected. And now Tampa on the break. And again, Tampa with a triple. And they're not taking their foot off the pedal. They just keep adding to their lead. Yeah, their focus, their toughness, energy, it's all been on the high end of the register, and they're being rewarded for it. Wiggins kicks to Towns. Oh, that's blocked. And this is the thing. They're trying to battle back, but his erratic shooting is really hurting. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is barely. Lights out's got 12 points now in the quarter. Wow, what a special, special performance this guy's putting on from long range. He's just been raining threes. That's where the majority of the damage he's doing is, is happening. Oh, 
43 seconds left in the second quarter. Carries it from three-point range. How about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. Whole new look on the four for Minnesota. Minnesota with the ball. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. From deep three-point range, and again Tampa with a triple. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some four bounds. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Passes it to Heald. Knocked loose. Stone passes to Lights Out. Launches it. Good on the triple. Lights Out's got 21 in the game. Well, there's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. And it doesn't matter how difficult the shot. The ball is finding the bottom of the net. And so a pretty lobster. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You look at the profit in this game, he's been everywhere. How about a double-double already? I mean, this is the sort of energy performance that just energizes your entire team. Those kinds of stats take a lot of sweat and hard work, and he only needed a half to do it. Black Hole is out there with lights out. And there's the bulldozer. Then there's baddest one. And it's the Prophet in at the point guard. And for the Timberwolves. A high-flying pair of Levine and Wiggins at the two and the three. Paul Millsap out there with Towns. And it's Cole in at the point guard position. Now here's Levine. Tight defense on him. Here's Black Hole. Got a piece of it. Boy, able to get off the floor so quickly. Levine sending that one back. Here's Black Hole, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Trills the three-pointer. And wasting no time in transition, really pushing the pace. Here's Cole. He's got five. Towns the screen. Shoots off the screen, and it's Wiggins missing. And good defense there to play up and get a hand in the face. Oh, the confidence he exudes, the toughness. He just gets inside shooters' heads. Well, there's no question about why they're up. His accuracy has been phenomenal tonight. The pass to Black Hole. The finish rips down the breakaway slam. And from an offensive standpoint, they have just been stellar. You talk about executing a game plan to perfection. That lead has just simply gone up and up and up. Here's lights out, covered by Wiggins, and again Tampa with a triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Levine can't hit. All the credit goes to the defense, preventing a terrific finisher like that from throwing it down. Got that one up quick. 32 points for lights out. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Towns the screen. Cole dishes to Levine. Tries to save it. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Two 
Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And he gets the bucket. Cole's got seven points in the game. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Oh, no doubt. I mean, because of the size difference, that's probably not the one-on-one -on -one matchup they'd like to go to very often, but it worked that time. Black Hole's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Tipped away. And Cole kicks to Millsap. Up and in on the layup. Millsap's got his first points of the night you know creating opportunities right there near the bucket like that that's always a priority that's good offense this is a nice third quarter surge here they've got it going right now and this is definitely the time to do it i mean they've got that swagger going right now knocking down shots communicating looking very tough and you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect Outside, Levine. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. From the inbound, Heal can't hit. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now. Oh! How does he even make that shot? What range on that shot? Oh. That's amazing. Picked him clean. Here's Black Hole, rebound by Hunt. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Yeah, as we just saw, you don't always have to get the block to make a defensive impact. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. I'll tell you, Levine's a goal. Hard, but he has the quickness, the hops. He's difficult to stop in there. Black Hole. And Tampa getting another bucket right there. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. Another steal. The Prophet passes to Stone. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. And so it's Minnesota with it. Levine dishes to heel. Pulls up. He can't get that one. And Tampa will come the other way. From deep, an absolute bomb from three-point range. And that's 18 points for Black Hole. Outside, Levine. Sinks that one from the post. I tell you, when Levine gets up ahead of steam, he's really difficult to stay in front of. And it's Champa with the ball. Lights out, passes to Black Hole. Sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. Yeah, and it's because they're moving sharply, getting good shots, big advantage in field goal percentage. For three, Levine, the rebound by Tampa. Stone's got six rebounds here tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's how you attack. Wow. How'd he do that? <laughs> Kevin, is there another player out there capable of moves as stunning mm. as that? A handful at the most. He is an elite company. That was a nice replay brought to you by Kia. The big dunk at the end of the break. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? I, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> Poked loose. Millsap kicks to heel. 127 left to play here in the third. And they're running. Here's Black Hole, and again, Tampa with a triple. Oh, since the break, his efficiency has gone up a notch, looking really polished now. Levine kicks to Millsap. 
Hunt the pass to Millsap. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Regardless of that miss right there, that's a shot you want him taking. He practices that all the time, makes a ton of them. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Heel dishes to Levine. And now Tampa on the break. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Here's Black Hole. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's how he makes his presence felt. And, Greg, we see him do it time and again. He is a special, special talent. Hunt with the bucket. A room service assist to cap that possession. That pass was right on target. Levine with it. Pass to Millsap. And there's the foul. It's on the bulldozer. That's foul number two for him. And that's miscue number two for them tonight. On the whole, they've been doing a great job of taking care of the basketball. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Levine kicks to Heald. Knocks it loose. Here's Towns. Sinks the 15-footer. Towns has got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, well, this is one of the better catch-and-shoot bigs in the NBA already. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And it's Champa with the ball. Stone out there with Black Hole. Then it's the Prophet. Then there's Lights Out. And it's Baddest One in at the two. And the basket by Stone. Uh, just the rise and fire. He takes advantage of his size to come into the mid range and make the jumper. Defense! Defense! That's amazing. Now here's Ellis. He's guarded closely. From deep. Oh, oh not that bad. Oh, my. How did he hit that shot? How in the world? You just never know what's going to happen. This dude is unreal. Seven-foot shot. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Just a terrific delivery into the low post. Love to get those buckets nice and close. High percentage shots. Wasted no time on that one. Stone's got 18 points now here in the second half. Ellis outside. Poked away. And now Tampa on the break. Baddest one passes to Stone. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. You know, guys, fast break points right now in their favor. And, and they're really pushing the tempo. A free throw drops for Stone. Here's Ellis. Another steal. And 
here we go. Feeds it to Stone. Jacks up a three. Hits the three-point bomb. Stone's got 30. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. I mean, unbelievable. Whether they're wide open or defenders draped all over them, they're hitting from distance. The 10-footer. And the first one drops. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Temple. Ball's knocked loose. Pass to the Prophet. They double him with Simmons. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. The first one falls. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Another steal. Here's Troutman. Oh! oh. Wow. Well, there's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. And it doesn't matter how difficult the shot. The ball is finding the bottom of the net. Here's the screen. Ball's knocked loose. Inside, Hunt. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Here's Ellis. Sensational block. And they're able to recover. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Great-looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, he took a solid angle, didn't block the attempt, but still forced the miss. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Another steal. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Drains it from beyond the arc. Boy, he continues to power this lead down the stretch. Drills it right in the face of the defense yet again. Kicks it to Simmons. Tipped away. Here's Temple. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. That's your home. That's the area you simply have to protect. He got loose from downtown in the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Stone passes to the Prophet. And Tampa getting another bucket right there. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Over to the wing. Back to Temple. To the wing right side. And here's Simmons for three. He can't hit that top. They've got a nice little run going here. Yeah, just making it look easy on the offensive end. Took him no time at all on that one. Just dialed in from the three-point line in this fourth quarter. Pouring it in from deep. They have been absolutely unconscious down the stretch. Here's Troutman. And again, Tampa with the triple. Oh, that's a real nice-looking deep three ball there. So it's Minnesota now. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And how's that for some ups coming from that one? Well, he is a rarity among NBA point guards in his ability to elevate. But how much more dynamic is your backcourt when you add that element of elite athleticism? And again, Tampa with a triple. 
There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Gale. That shot is off. And Tampa will come the other way. This one for three. And again, Tampa with a triple. I mean, he was great in his last game. Clearly, he has not lost that love and feel. No, he's having one of those stretches where you just have to stand back and admire the work he's putting in on the basketball court. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Troutman. And again, Tampa with a triple. We've got 108 left to play here in the fourth. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the three ball. This is a serious game clinching run they're on. Listen, if you want to succeed, respect the moment, play with a purpose, that's what they did. Fires the three, sinks the triple. And, and just a little bit ragged defensively. Been the story all too often for them today. Too disorganized, not playing cohesive basketball at all. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Just carrying the load right now offensively, guys. He is not wasting any chances. Yeah, and a smart move to continue going through him down the stretch. Ride the hot hand as far as it will take you. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. For the three. And again, Tampa with a triple. And since the break, he's just been money from beyond. When he's this hot, the green light just doesn't seem to get any greener. And now Tampa on the break. Moving it up. Power down with both hands. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. So we see Tampa get the win here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that's going to do it tonight, folks.